Welcome to ProWebcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Tuesday, April 6th, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Paul Wilson. Today's news is sponsored by Covenant Reliance Producers. We build success stories. For more information, please visit crproducers.com. Now for today's headlines. Nearly two-thirds of Americans would still prefer to own a home. However, the recent housing market, combined with economic uncertainty, has made them more cautious about the details, according to a survey released today by mortgage lender Fannie Mae. The survey found that 65% of homeowners and renters nationwide believe there is still value in owning a home. But the survey also shows that home buyers have become increasingly cautious after the housing bubble burst, leading to a number of foreclosures and a national recession. Over 40% of respondents said personal safety was their main consideration when purchasing a home while one-third said that the quality of local schools was the dominant factor. According to Doug Duncan, chief economist at Fannie Mae, quote, consumers are still committed to owning a home, but are showing increased cautiousness. This survey was done to get a level set about what the public is thinking about housing after the huge disruption. We wanted to understand the current and expected behavior of borrowers and how to help people who have difficulties, unquote. The survey also found that 60% believe buying a home today is harder than it was for their parents, while almost 70% feel it will be even harder for their children. However, approximately two-thirds believe now is a good time to buy a house, while nearly one-third believe it is a very good time to purchase a home, nearly the same percentage as those who believed it was a good time to buy in 2003. In insurance news, the amount that hospitals charge the uninsured for inpatient care climbed 88% between 1998 and 2007, according to the latest news and numbers from the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality. The average amount charged for an uninsured hospital stay grew from $11,400 in 1998 to $21,400 in 2007 after adjusting for inflation. In addition, the analysis found that the number of uninsured hospital stays during the same period climbed by 31%, far higher than the 13% overall increase in hospital stays for the period. The top reason for uninsured hospital stays was childbirth, followed by depression and bipolar disorder, chest pain with no observed cause, skin infections, and alcohol-related disorders. In other insurance news, a new survey by the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, or NAIC, finds that only 45% of Americans feel confident making insurance decisions, while more than 60% failed to correctly answer basic questions about insurance coverage. The questions asked included, does auto insurance cover personal property stolen from your car? At what age do most people become eligible for Medicare? Can credit scores affect your auto insurance premium? On a 10-question section that tested specific insurance knowledge, most respondents only answered four questions correctly. In addition, the study found that 55% of all Americans do not understand what a pre-existing condition is, 40% do not know the age at which most people become eligible for Medicare, 53% think that they can only make changes to their group insurance coverage during the open enrollment period, and 16% say they have no idea when changes can be made. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching ProWebcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit producersweb.com.